Well, I wrote I wrote the I wrote this one, so you know. I know you did, but it's sometimes moves. it's okay to go on tangents. Let me know when you're ready. All right, count me off. Three, two, one. Okay, the Indiana Pacers in the fourth quarter of this game had an offensive rating of fifty six point one. That is atrocious. That is testing to how good the Cleveland Cavaliers defense is. They shot seven of twenty two from the field managed a meager 17 points, okay? In this game, Indiana had an offensive rating of 115.3. It was as high in this game at certain points as 133.3. Had that 133.3 number held, that would have been the worst defensive performance that the Cavs had of this entire year. So what happened? The Cavs' defense took over the game. Evan Mobley, as Evan alluded to, was GD incredible. Utterly the most dominant player on the floor in this game, particularly down the stretch, because of how good his defense was. Again, the Cavs had a, posted a defensive rating in the fourth quarter of 56.1. That is like if you took modern basketball and shoved it back in the 60s when they thought three pointers, when three pointers didn't exist and all, the, all that nonsense. Lavert was great in the fourth. Sure, he made some really big shots. Rondo was as good as we've seen him. Hit those two three pointers, pinpoint passing, all of it. But Evan, the defense is the template for the Cavs. The template for the Cavs to win this year, to win a lot of games, to make a playoff run is right here. It is this elite, elite, high-end defense, taking over games, changing the flow of games. The Cavs, realistically, by all accounts, should have probably lost this game. That happens. You will have off nights on the road. You will have nights where you're out of sinker without Darius Garland and you can't recover. When that defense was as bad as we've seen it, if they can't overcome that, that can make some sense. You can, you can write that one off later in the year. But the Cavs' defense was so good that it brought them back into a game, helped them win a game, and if the offense can just be good enough, and the idea of getting Karis LeVert and having Garland and having all of that is to get there, to have the offense be good enough, Cleveland can be dangerous. They can be dangerous in the playoffs. The defense is the template for this team maximizing their potential when it can be that good and that effective, even if it's for a quarter at a 30 time. seconds. How is that for negative or being scared, people listening and commenting on this show on YouTube? Golly. Golly, I Evan. see you read the comments and had a different interpretation. I, it just made me more depressed than I normally am. I, no, I went in and, and was like, I responded because sometimes you just got to do it. And that's also good. For, we're supposed to. Nick told us to do that. But like this Cavs team is good. This Cavs defense is absolutely elite. This is the way forward if they're going to make a real run at this. This defense is folks. Ridiculous. We're admitting we're wrong about the Cavs this year. And you no, we were never wrong. People just weren't actually listening and just expecting us Time's to be up. like stand culture. God, golly.